Why do people put sugar on their grits? The sugar grits shit pisses me off. I, Intensely, bro. Yeah. You put sugar on your grits, you're a dick. I can't wait till y'all run into somebody at a music festival. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you got a problem with sugar on grits, yo? <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's Trey. Back for another question of our life. Today we have a oh, wild wow, great. We got Ogun. We got Earth Gang in here with us. What's going on, guys? What's happening, man? I really appreciate you adapting to our names like that, man. You keep doing what you're doing, man. I'm just doing my okay, best, man. You keep... <laughs> you know? That's why I'll just take like a deep breath. For this thing. <sighs> okay. Earth Gang, or what's your favorite climate on Earth? Is it the <laughs> desert, the jungle, or the forest? First of all, I can't stand I'm, no damn desert. So I'm about to say the jungle. Don't eat them colorful frogs. <laughs> them brown frogs. Eat them, eat them brown frogs. Eat them gray frogs. <laughs> all right, Waffle House. You getting a regular chocolate chip or pecan waffle? In my Waffle House days, I was a regular waffle yeah, I'm guy. Yeah, I'm getting a regular. Yeah. Okay. The they chocolate have, chip niggas is wild, yeah, bro. That's like, a crazy wild feeling. for that. I want the chocolate for in my breakfast. waffle. Yeah. 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 It's like people with crunchy peanut butter. I don't understand the crunchy peanut butter. You I just, agree with you on like crunchy a, peanut butter, though. Bro, like, I don't know. Look, it's like, I, you like a crunchy surprise. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like. Okay, what's the best part of an HBCU homecoming weekend? The tailgate, the after parties, or just being back in general? The tailgate, bro, if I had to really tailgate say it, really bro, be jumping. The after really party be jumping, but the, cool, tailgate, the tailgate, everybody cool. Everybody, is, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Drunk enough to be wasted, yeah. like nasty and sloppy. You like everybody, everybody happy everybody to see people and happy stuff, to you know what I'm saying? Still, everybody looking as good as they gonna look yeah. at it for sure. Tailgate where it's at. Y'all met in high school, yeah. but like you really started to formulate what Earth Gang was going to be in college. Like. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for saying that. Somebody wrote an article the other day, was like, we started, as soon as we met, I was like, bro, when we first met, I didn't even know he rapped. We was like kids, kids. So like, I ain't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it, it took finishing high school and then starting that I shit. do my research before I come here. I'm not trying to look stupid, upset yeah. nobody. Uh, yeah. Do you think Earth Gang could have happened at like a predominantly white school? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. it definitely could have. Okay. It Hell definitely could have. Yeah. It, it wasn't the HBCU-ness that made, it, that made Earth Gang what it was, for sure not. Cause we went to all black schools our whole but life. I think I fuck with bro. Like it ain't really hard for me to find niggas who I fuck with. When I find them, I feel like I went with the PW. I'd have been looking, searching, like where my niggas at? Like being in the HBCU let me feel like I ain't have to subscribe to nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I just gotta be me. I ain't them frats, fuck all them clubs, and like our shit kind of became a club because we was like, nigga, we rapping. Anybody who want to rap could just hang around us. You know what I'm saying? So it, it kind of turns his own thing. So yeah, I, I, I feel that with that respect. Y'all working like that collective setting a lot, kind of like, what's the biggest benefit besides just like having ideas to bounce off somebody or whatever? Like, yeah, that's the biggest benefit. To just be able to like, yeah. like the, I feel like the dopest thing about creating music when you just in there talking about real life and then somebody throw the beat on and then like. The shit that y'all was just talking about for two hours, three hours, end up being in the record. Like, that's the dopest part, because then mm -hmm. it's just honest, it's straightforward. You know? That's really all it is, is just the melding of the minds around that time. Let's stir some trouble. Uh, I want each of you to tell me the most annoying thing about the other one. You go first. Um... <laughs> Excited. He only wanted me to go first so he could feel comfortable saying something worse. So that's, this is, <laughs> this is, that's the most annoying thing. That's probably it right there. This just, I just hate when niggas is late. I do be late all the time. Okay. Cause like, I want to be late too. Just let me know, bro. I'll pull up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm... All right, so Mirrorland, I read, I think it was in Pitchfork that it was inspired by the Wiz. It is, for sure. Who do y'all relate to more? The Scarecrow, the Tin Man, or the Lion? Damn, that's a good question. Cause it's day by day, right? There are days where I feel like an idiot. There are days where I feel insensitive and there are days where I feel, well, the lion the least, cause he was a pussy, pussy, yeah, pussy, yeah, pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah like the he's the least, the he's the least I relate to. Never the lion. Well, I'm picking Mike. Just because, yeah, it's Michael Jackson. I'm, a re I'm gonna tell you, you why. I'm gonna tell you why, because of that scene, because when them scarecrows were picking on him, that was like my life as a child. Like a lot of a lot okay. of my big homies now who fuck with me, who, you know what I'm saying, and let me grow. When I was young, I was very different. So a lot of niggas used to just like, just give me the yeah, blues. That's, that's what it is. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just give nigga the blues. I'm like, you know what, Mike? You that nigga, get down, Mike. They can't fuck with you, Mike. Get down. <laughs> they can't fuck with you. The 10 man yeah, was the was, most player. Right. I give it to Michael a little more, cause forever, I'm really cool being heartless, but I don't want to be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> So the last Spillage Village album sounded a lot like church. What kind of changes do you think religion, religious institutions in this country got to make to keep themselves alive? There are so fucked. many They're changes. Fucked. Also, a lot of religions be, be scared to like deal with like practical issues really? that's going on. Like it's, it's too because they, esoteric. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, like, I'm really having problems with like racism, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, can you talk about that this Sunday, please. bro? Like, please. Can you stop telling me about that damn lion's den? Please. I, I ain't seen a damn den of lions in my life. <laughs> like, those lions had no den, bro. I ain't, I'm not... Exactly. I ain't know they stayed in rocks, right, bro. Still in the den. But this racism? 
This shit hell. Wow, Greg. Olu. Dr. Dot. Yes. Johnny Venus. Thank you. Stadium. Stadium. Palladium. Palladium. Concentratium. <laughs> Great seeing y'all again, man. Palladium. <laughs> Questionnaire life. Earth gang. We ain't even look at that camera, man. We fuck yeah. with y'all, too. See you later. Take care. This is a great time to start a new religion. So anybody out there just with some yeah. <laughs> go out there and get that shit popping. Get it popping. See what happens. So, so a cult. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's gonna oh, be a lot. Right. I, right. I, I expect a lot of cults to happen in the next couple yeah. of years, though. Like, like we low-key overdue for another cult rage like, like fest. Yeah. <laughs>